so welcome to part one of this sew along of Simplicity's S9545. I will be doing view B, okay, this one that has the short sleeve with the band, um, but I will be doing view A if I have enough fabric of the length of the skirt or the flounce, okay, because um, it's just a little longer, so I want to do that one. So view B basically with the sleeves, view A, the length, the length of the skirt is what I'll be doing. I will be doing a size 22. Uh, my bust is a 43, 44. Um, so here bust is 44. Um, finished measurement is a 49. Um, but again, remember if we Go looking at the mid range of 14. Well, both of them basically are the same, but it's five inches um, of ease um, between the body measurement and the finished measurement for five inches. That brings you to semi fitted, which is the range is four and one eighths to five inches. So that is on the high end um, of the semi fitted. Um, basically moving up to the loose um, silhouette, which starts at five and one eighths. And if I, if we look at the pattern itself and look around the bust, to me, that does not look like a semi-fitted. If you think like a semi-fitted, that's like a nice tailored shirt that doesn't have a lot of ease to it. It's tailored to your body. And this looks like it has a little bit more ease than what a tailored shirt would look like, in my opinion. But if not, you know, you most definitely can make your ease what you want it. <laughs> but I will be uh, moving up to the loose silhouette um, range um, or silhouette uh, ease, which is that range is five and one eighths to uh, eight inches. And so I will probably be doing probably like six inches or six and a half inches um, of ease, okay? Or that's what I want in that bust measurement. All right. Now, looking at it, I'm already at the top range, right? <laughs> so I can't just go up another, you know, a size. If, if I started at 16 to go up, you know, like that. I'm already at this top range. So typically what I do in, in those instances is just add about um, an inch to the side seams. And that usually does it because usually a half an inch on your side seams is equivalent to um, one one size up. So these goes up by two. So this the, a half an inch would equal a 24. One inch would equal a 26 in size, basically. Um, so I'm giving myself a little room there. So I will be adding an inch to the side seams um, for that. So that's how I'm going to do that. Okay, so moving on to my fabric. Um, my fabric here is a linen blend. Obviously, it's a pink or coral um, type color. The fiber content is linen 55% and rayon 45%. So it doesn't just have that crisp feel of a linen, but um, because of the rayon, it makes it a little bit more softer. And of course, the more you uh, wash and dry linen, the softer it gets anyway. So right now it's pretty, feeling pretty nice. Um, the stretch on the crosswise is a half an inch on the lengthwise, and the crosswise goes around your body. Uh, on the lengthwise grain, which goes down your body, is 0% stretch. Um, it's semi-sheer, which means um, it doesn't, you can see a little bit through it. So if like, um, you know, if I laid it out single layer on this blue you you can't you may be able to see a little bit of the blue but you won't be able to see the checkered so it's not really see through so i consider that semi sheer um but it is translucent meaning that light can come through it okay um I, where i got it from they considered it a lightweight at 5.25 ounces but I'm filling in and it feels more like a medium weight. And I like medium weights for um, your average tops that you don't want to be see-through. <laughs> 
So uh, medium weight is what it feels like to me. Um, I got this from fabric.com. The item number is 0450554. Okay, and so I'll pop up the fabric spotlight that I did on this particular fabric that will go in much more detail than I did right here. And I'll pop it up on the screen um, right now. All right, next is Notions Materials Needed for this project. You're gonna need a quarter inch wide elastic and you're gonna need interfacing, okay? And any of the pattern alterations I already told you, um, I'm gonna add um, one inch to the side seam um, because I want to have more of a looser fit um, silhouette than a semi-fitted silhouette. Um, and the one inch on the side seam is basically equivalent to two sizes up. So that should be able to give me that six to six and a half inches that I want across that bus. Okay, so let's go over the instructions to see if there's any uh, thing that needs special attention. Okay, so looking at the pattern pieces um, for the for the make that I'm making, I'll need one through nine and 12. So I'll need uh, 10 pieces, okay? One is the upper front, two is the yoke front, three is the front elastic guide. You don't cut fabric out of that, that's just a guide. You cut your elastic from that. Number four is the front strap. Number five is the upper back. Five, six is the front facing, seven is the back facing, eight is the front and back, and um, it seems front and back of this, the skirt part. Nine is the sleeve, 12 is the sleeve band. All right. um, so mark your what you need. You can also circle the actual picture itself if that helps you as well. Um, for interfacing, this is basically for all views. Um, that's what you're going to need. Six and seven, it appears, that you're going to interface. Pattern pieces six and seven. Uh, my fabric is uh, probably just short of um, um, 60 inches. So my layout is here which is interesting <laughs> two react there's two here so there's one where it's a fold um where you know you fold on the fabric so the fold is close to you and both salvage features are away from you um and then there's one where it is salvage to salvage meaning the fabric is laid flat um not folded and so when it's laid fat, flat you want the right side of your fabric facing up towards you so just always know that when it's one piece of fabric that you're laying it on you want the fabric to be right side up facing you and some of these pattern pieces you're going to have to mirror so just keep that in mind so like for number five um you know that could be up and then you're going to turn it over so that it's next to it where it's face down, okay, um, to create that. All right, so um, some sewing directions that you need. You're going to need to know how to gather and how to understitch. Um, that's part of my basics. So if you haven't already reviewed that or you need refresher on that, make sure to check that out. Um, but to look at it for number one, I can lower this a little bit. All right, for, for number one, we're basically just um, stay stitching uh, the number one and number two, and it's the V-neck, and number two, it's, you know, on that diagonal. Okay, show you a close-up of those pictures. So one is the V-neck, two is that diagonal okay and you are going to stay stitch it um number two is combining two to one 
And then for the seam allowance that you have, once you combine that, you're gonna make that into a casing, your elastic. And so that's basically what three and four are talking about. Um, so, uh, five, six, and seven is talking about this little piece here that goes across, cr creating that. And then how to attach it is number eight. Um, there so no problem there Let's see number nine is we're stay stitch stay stitching um the back here and it tells you the direction to stay stitch okay remember you always start from the outside going in to the center okay never just from one end to the to the other all right and then um joining the shoulders there um 10 through mm, 12 i would say 10 through 12 is about joining um well 10 is just joining the face in itself and 11 and 12 is um is sewing it to your bodice and number 13 is about under stitching that facing so that the facing will roll to the inside okay skip number 14 because that's for c number 14 is to stitch the side seams down so that's no problem there and now we need to move to the sleeves for b which starts at 20. Um, we're just going to gather the, uh, the sleeve cap, gather the sleeve um, hem, and they have some markings there where you stop and where you start and stop for your gathering. Okay, number 24 is talking about um, creating your sleeve band. Um, and basically... 25 and 26 is attaching the sleeve band to the to the gathered hem that you did there. 27 is a, um, attaching your sleeve, doing an inset sleeve there. All right, moving on. Uh, moving on to 30 is, this is the skirt uh, or the flounce. Um, and you're gonna attach the front to back at the side seams. Um, and then 31 is you're going to gather it around. They tell you to break it at the at the side seams, but I do mine a little different. I, I do my gatherings in sections, so I'll actually have like four sections of gather gathers. Um, this makes the gathering easy, easier and more um, evenly dispersed if I do it that way, but you most definitely can do it this way. You just sew all the way around without stopping. And then at the side seams, you'll break your thread so you can have tails to pull up um, your gather. So that's what 31 is doing. 32 is attaching your skirt to your bodice um, at the waistline. So that's all that's doing. And then that's it. So nothing really um, difficult or anything looks tricky in the directions. So go ahead and review it yourself if you need to. Um, and I do encourage you to just read over it so you can have a good idea of, of the steps that we do. All right, everybody. So go ahead and, um, you know, do everything you need to do to prep um for sewing so you know that is the um cutting out your pattern pieces um cutting laying out your fabric or uh, basically washing pre-treating your fabric first okay so washing it drying it if that's how you're going to do it or take it to the dry cleaners if that's how you're going to do it um and iron it ironing it if you have to um, and then we're going to lay out the fabric. We're going to lay out the pattern pieces on the fabric, cut out the fabric pieces. Um, we're going to interface any pieces that need to be interfaced. Um, and then we're going to mark and notch um, and clip our fabric pieces. And so then we'll be all ready and set to go for sewing. So typically I give everybody about a week to do all of that. And don't forget to read the instructions, okay? So you at least have a, a overview of, of the instructions and, and, 
everything like that. And so you'll be ready to go. Okay.